Assalamu alaikum and welcome to a new presentation on how to create child's height for his, weight for his, and weight for height Z score in R Studio. In the previous session, I discussed the calculating procedure of this indicator using stata. But today, I'm going to discuss how to create this indicator in R Studio. Because the Stata is not free software, that means the software always not available in each person. But R Study is a free software, and anybody can uh, calculate this indicator using this software. And the short form of the score is has mean height for a Z score, was mean weight for a Z score, and WZ means uh, weight for height Z score. Uh, Today, I, uh, I will not discuss about the definition of the digit score. Just today, I will discuss how to calculate this indicator in R Studio. And among this indicator, we can define the siloed chronic nutrition, that means chronic malnutrition, that means stunting, uh, acute malnutrition, the wasting, and undernutrition, that means Underweight. So let's go R software. To calculate this indicator, we need a data set. That means child height, child weight, child sex, and age. So I have a data, this example data set, and that data set uh, that has that the data set uploaded in the uh, my Research get account and the link of the data set is given in the video description and you may download the data set from the link. This is the completely example data set and in this data set, the data set contain study ID side is in month. That means this is in month. Child sex, one means male, two means female, child's height in centimeter and child weight is kg. And first we have to import the data set in R Studio. Let's open the R Studio. <coughs> This is the R Studio Windows, and first, then we have to open a open a R script. R script. This is a new, and then just I have prepared a R code for calculating the Z score. Now I am opening the syntax R code and through cal. Yes, this is the syntax for calculating the Z score. To calculate this Z score, we need two packages. First, we have to uh, install the packages Deployer. Deployer data set, deployer package mainly used for data management. Verifier package used to calculate the Z score. Let's import the data set. The syntax or code for uh, reading the CSV file. This is the uh, R code, my data, this is the, I have defined the data set name, my data. Read.csv, since the format of the data set is the Excel CSV, then the pathway, that means that uh, I have kept the data set in the F drive and 
there is a folder named data2 and the data set name is data anthro mais csv and header is true header is true because this is the header variable name first we have to install the deployer package uh, and we have to go to install and we have to type dpl deployer and click install and since the uh, package already installed in my computer so we cannot press install then we have to in the same procedure we have to install the z scorer then run the library run deployer run z score then run import the csv file yes then the data set that has, has been imported to data view yes there are some variable one is study id second is child s in month 2.27 month child sex one means male two means female and in, if we use this package then we must code it one means male two means female and the child height must be in centimeter and child weight must be weight but in this case a should be in the unit of a is days but in this data set the unit is month so we have to convert in days that means <clears throat> we have since the uh, format of data set, data set is in month so we have to multiply 3 6 365.25 this is the conversion value and divide by 12 since this is month if we run this code then the is in then is in month uh, was converted in as in days that means now this is n is a 69 days 251 days etc then we have to run the code for this code this is the package for default package for calculating z score data means my data six the variable name is c6 first a is height for s height for s so first part is height second part is a for weight for s first part is child weight second part is s and for the waz the first part is weight second part is height and if 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 we can run the code Then Z score, then Z score have been calculated. This is the has was WHZ. Now we calculate the silo standing wasting and underweight. The before before uh, calculating childhood malnutrition, we have to we have to exclude some data if the definition of has the range of has is minus six to plus six the range of was minus five to plus six and last the range of whz is minus five to plus five that means uh, if any value uh, doesn't lie between the, this range then we have converted as missing value. Na, NA means missing value in this data. That means if if has greater than minus six 
and less than minus six, then it denoted has otherwise any. Similarly, the range W A Z and W A Z. And finally, if has less than minus two, minus two, then one means stunting, zero means non-stunting. That the definition of stunting is has less than minus two. The definition of underweight is was less than minus two. The definition of wasting is less than WSJ is less than minus two. And if we run this code, this code, view, yes, stunting, wasting, underweight. Has. This is zero since this is not less than minus two. This is less than minus two, so uh, the value of is one. This is minus 0.5 on standing. Similarly, the underweight and wasting were calculated using this syntax. Now, now uh, I'm going to export the uh, value in CSV format. See, this is our main data set. And if we run this write.csv, my data, and the data will be exported in the F drive, F drive, data to folder, and the name will be my JD code. So now run this code. Yes, the data set has been imported. Yes, imported. And if we open the CSV file. Yes. This is our original raw data set, and this is our calculated. Has was WS set stunting, underweight, and wasting. And using this procedure, we can uh, calculate easily the Z score. So, dear audience, now I am. Uh, the, I am uploaded the data set as well the code book in my research gate account and the link will be given in the video description. You may download the data set as well as our code for practicing purpose. So thank you so much.